careful with your self-talk because if you say you want more, even if it's to give more, to contribute more, mm -hmm. um, to, to impact more. You take care of your family. Right. And that's going to take some funding to impact more lives, to, to do the things that we've been able to do in certain communities and mm -hmm. in, in certain groups of people, whether it be feeding the homeless with our kids, you know, warm meals. That took money. Unless you're going to find someone else to do it for you. Right. If you want to personally make the impact, it's going to take some funding and you don't want to look back on it and say things like, I mean, I can't believe if you have to complain about what you did. Then it's not been done with a joyful heart. You probably shouldn't have given it. Right. Right. That's the way I feel. So if we're giving away a certain amount of money, I'm not going to complain like, man, I would be to do this, but I gave this. I gave this to my kids and I'm paying for this for my kids or, you know, I gave this to help out the homeless. Right. It's. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's why money matters to us, because we want to get to a place where we could do all of that and not complain about what's left. Right. So right? it matters. It definitely matters. It matters. Right. If you're a go getter, faith driven and family focused and need to break through to your next level, this is the podcast for you. Your self-talk can reshape every area of your life. It's time to dream and think big. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience with Darnell and Tracy Self. It's time to elevate, baby. Let's get into the show. Hey, welcome to the Self-Talk Experience. I am Tracy Self, and I'm so happy that you are here today with us, right, babe? That's right. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience, where the things we say to ourselves about ourselves eventually determines what we attract for ourselves. And as you can see, we are repping our HBCUs today, baby, Bowie State University. BSU. Okay. All right. What about you? How long did you take to get your degree again? Really? Seven no. and a half years to get my four-year degree. But I did graduate with my degree in public relations. All right. That's never did it. Never did anything through. with it. <laughs> but I did graduate. <laughs> but I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that. I'm repping Morgan State University. And we were just talking about this. We just ran into Dr. Wilson, the yeah. president of Morgan State University. So I'm wearing my paraphernalia again today, Dr. Yeah, it was so cool. We were in the elevator, and then the elevator opens up. This gentleman walks on, and he's like, Bowie State. I was like, yeah. And uh, our daughter had on Spellman. He's like, Spellman. Mm -hmm. And then he looked at you, and he's like, and you had a different Morgan shirt than uh -huh. you have on today. And he was like, Morgan State, like with an inflection. Right. And so you were like, oh, you, you went to Morgan State? He's like, I'm the president I'm of the Morgan president. State. And I, was, <laughs> I was like, I was okay. blown away. <laughs> it was we so gonna, cool. I'll put a picture of us up. Yeah. He took a picture. It was so awesome to meet him. Yeah, really he was like, was. where are you guys going? And uh, we were going to uh, celebrate Kinsey, and she's going our off to niece, FAMU. Yes. Yeah, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So, yeah, so we have on our HBCU uh, shirts today, but that's not what we're talking about. Well, I no. guess it actually kind of fits in if okay. I think about it, because we're going to talk about money matters or mm. does it mm. or does it matter? And this well. is some self-talk, right, that can either help you repel money or attract money. Depending on how you look at it, it's right? It's such a touchy subject. It though. is. It really is. We're going to talk about it because sometimes, you know, because if, if people are going through um, from scripture, from the Bible, they're like, oh, you know, money's evil, but it's the love mm -hmm. of money, mm -hmm. right? So we're not talking about money as an idol. Well, it's a necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, right? it, well, unless you go to some island where you can. Catch whatever it is you're going to eat. You sure. know what I mean? You're going you're going to go fishing, spear mm -hmm. fishing, that is, because you can't buy a fishing rod because you don't have money. Right. Right. So you're actually going to catch the fish, you're going to cook it, and you don't have to worry about clothes. Like other than that, it's going to require some money. Yeah. And then there are also lifestyles, babe, that do require a nominal amount of money. Yeah. Right. Like you said, if you live somewhere where you don't have to shop, you you have a smaller home and right. you don't need much, right? right. You just right. need to eat. Right. And just or, relax. Right. Like or you don't desire much. Right. But exactly. even if you live on a farm, you may have to buy feed. You may have to pay a vet. You may. Have, so there's there's, there's expenses. Still costs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There are expenses. And so, you know, so in my opinion, we're going to talk about how our self-talk had to shift that money really does matter um, in a world where you want to even make an impact. So let's not mm -hmm. talk about uh, social status or for self. Right. right? E exactly. So because, you know, it could it, it could mean something like, hey, for me, money's about power, you know, money's about the trapping. So let's just take that out okay. for a second. Right. Right. And because money still has something to do with stability, comfort, mm -hmm. um, choices. Yes, absolutely. There are emergencies that come up. 
Mm-hmm. It's a future that you got to plan for, right? So when you get older, perhaps you may have more expenses when it comes to um, being able to take care of yourself without a job's income. Right. Right. So, so you know, what are we doing to prepare for that? Unless, yeah. you know, you want to be 90 and, and still actually working. Some people may choose to work at 90 because they like, I want to stay active. I still want to yeah. do some things. Mm-hmm. But at least you want the choice not to have to. Exactly right. And that's what we're talking about. Money just gives you choices. Like, mm-hmm. mm, I want to do it or I don't want to do it. Without the money, the choice is made for you in a lot of, t- in a lot of cases. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So let's talk about um, money matter- mattering or at least, in my opinion, it should matter. Well, I know when it matters, <laughs> when you have a daughter, that's when it matters. Uh, or my daughter. Okay. And Milan is actually our producer today, so she's back behind the camera. Yeah, she probably wants me to pay her for her time <laughs> <laughs> behind the camera. So let's wrap this up real quick. That's <laughs> true. So, but no, I mean, but like, and we, we used to tell the story about um, Milan's housing issue to happen at Spelman. And it took, you know, $10,000 mm-hmm. to, to, to still get her classes back and to not put her in a place where she perhaps wouldn't have had the housing. Well, it was a mistake. That was an honest mistake. But sure. again, it took money. But we just had another something happen with that, too. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. She was off, off his campus apartment, moving into her, uh, her new Last apartment. Last week, yes. And they hadn't cleaned it yet. So they hadn't gone through and to make sure that everything was done. Right. And, and we had to fly back out. So it wasn't like we, we live uh, in, in Atlanta. So we were like telling the property manager, hey, you know, we need to get this going. So we can move her from one um, apartment to her new one. Right, exactly. In the same right. building. Same building. Right. But, you know, time is money. Yes. So because, look, when you have money, you get to throw out different options than if you don't have money. Right. So I start throwing out options. Like, hey, look, what if we hire a cleaning service, a private cleaning service. We have them coming and do it. And um, when we just send you the invoice, so I'll just pay it up front. And he was like, I don't know if we can do that. So I'm throwing out options right, for him, right. but it took money. So some of the options were were based on money. But also we had to change our flight yep. because our flight was leaving before they were able to get it done. So right. we had to pay right. to change our flight. Well, exactly. we were able to, we were blessed to be able to. That's exactly right. Do and, that. And, and here's the thing. Even if we decided to, hey, look, you know, you guys should be responsible for some of this. You still have to pay it up front. Right. Like, like even if we weren't getting that back, we would still have to pay it up front to Absolutely. say, look, it took to make $600, it I think, to switch all of our flights. Yeah, to make it happen. Yeah. So, and for some people, like, it was only $600. But I remember when $20, mm-hmm. when when $40 was yes, we've a been whole there. lot of money, right? We've been there. So, so, we're not talking about the amount as in being insensitive um to anyone who has a, 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 a is in a financial place that uh, has caused them frustration and is causing them some depression because we know what that's like Absolutely. so I just want to make sure we're being sensitive to that but it's not the amount necessarily it's like you said it's the choice yeah to be able to do that whether it costs forty dollars to do the flight or a thousand dollars yep but guess just what to have the choice yeah but guess what? The more money you have, the more choices you have. Mm. See, if if you only have a little bit of money, you only have a little bit of choices. Right. Because right. you don't, you can't choose. But there's so much. It's like, well, I guess this. It's just like we've been in a situation because we fly so often where flights were canceled, and the the uh, airline wasn't like, hey, we'll pay for you to stay at this hotel. They were like, hey, we can book you again in the morning. Sometimes they took care of it depending on what it was. You know what I mean? But there's certain situations, the airline's like, oh, well, they're sorry. They're not responsible. Yeah, they're not responsible. So it's like, oh, well. And so you could say, well, we'll just stay at the airport. Or, hey, look, no worries. We'll stay here. Let's go grab something to eat right, right now. Remember right. that time we took the kids? We're like, let's go get something to eat. Right. We were going all the way to, uh, was it Jamaica? We were going was, to Mexico. We were going to we Tulum. We ended up in Jamaica. That's right. We were going to <laughs> Tulum. And we just literally had to switch everything. Yes. And But it gave us choices. We were like, all right. So I called a partner of mine. I was like, hey, we can maybe charter a plane. Right? That was a choice. It was a choice. I just didn't want to spend the, the, the amount of money that that choice would have required us to spend. <laughs> but but it was a choice. Sure. Like, we, we could actually do it. And that's what I'm saying. At least you have the choice. And we were like, all right, let's check. Because the, they were like, there's nothing else leaving out. I think it was Fort Lauderdale right now. And we we had to switch airlines. We had to go stay at a different hotel. We had to eat something. We didn't have to eat, but we chose to eat. Right. 
You can say, hey, we can't eat, guys. We're waiting to get to the all-inclusive place, so sorry, we can't eat. And that's all I'm saying, guys. It's like we got to get to a place where our self-talk is saying, you know, I'm excited about money mattering but not mattering because I have it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, here's (laughs) what I mean by that. Because, you know, sometimes people say things like, you know, it's all about the money. What is when you don't have any? Mm. Because people think when you're going after fin- financial wealth or are you going after an economic status just because you, you want to have a lot in an account or investments or assets, they're thinking that for you it's always about money. But we found when you have money, you don't have to think about it as much. Right. When you don't have it, you actually, it's hard to sleep at night because you're thinking about in the morning, bill collectors are going to be calling. So you're thinking about money. I've got two months before I'm getting kicked out of this house right. or apartment. Right. So you're thinking about money. You're like, I can't believe I got to figure out medicine for my child. You're thinking about money. So you actually th- f- are forced to think about money even more when you don't have it because you're thinking about the things that have to be done that require money that you're not quite sure how that's going to happen. Right. But also when you do have it, you have the choices. Your thought process now at night is my cousin's baby needs money for medicine. I have that. Right. 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 My mom needs money for this bill. I have that. Right. Right. So now you're not just thinking about yourself. You're able to think how you can be a blessing to other people. Yeah. And that's what means the most to us. Yeah. No, I know. I I, I completely agree. And that's that's the biggest point, guys. It's like emergencies happen mm-hmm. like and it happened to your parents and your dad didn't know he was going to lose his job right right so it happens and you don't if emergencies are just that it's not if you knew it was coming it wouldn't be an emergency right right so things happen and then you got to make quickly make a decision well if it requires finances to help out with that decision i mean quite honestly people sometimes die unexpected uh, unexpectedly and it costs money to bury people that's why they go fund me's and things like that so what we're saying is we had to shift our self-talk. Let's put ourselves in a place where money doesn't matter as much. It matters so that we can accomplish a goal to have enough of it where we have more choices. And that's a different place for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like some folks are like, oh, I don't need, ever need to fly business class. I don't ever need to go to Maldives. I don't ever need to. And, and that's completely OK. So yeah. that's a, a certain amount of money where they're just they're comfortable. They have money for emergencies. They have money for retirement. So if they want to stop working at 65, they can or 55, whatever their goals are. Uh, if if something happens to their parents, they can like, no worries. You know, come with me. We can afford an in-home nurse uh, yeah. or whatever it is. But it, that requires money. Uh, if a child's ready to go to college and they're like, hey, I didn't get a scholarship, but I really I, I was accepted to this school. And you're like, oh, my God, so I'm so proud of you. But we can't send you there. You, you know what I mean? Right. And so it's different for everybody. We're just saying that depending on what your goals are mm-hmm. and what it is that you would like to have in life, just know that money matters in terms of having more options, having more choices, being able to make different decisions. And sometimes those decisions are made for you in terms of the quality of food that you have, at least here in the States. Right. Right. Because many folks don't have their own gardens. And so if you want a certain type of food, a healthier food, then perhaps, you know, you may have to spend a little bit more Mm -hmm. or in some communities they don't even have healthy options yeah it's different because um growing up i think we were taught to look at it differently and you're having everyone think of it different just having a different outlook on it right? right um like you said when we were younger it's like you don't chase money don't chase the dollar all these yeah. phrases that we grew up with and they don't make sense yeah they really don't you just have to have a positive outlook on it and when you have the right heart it's okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. I know. And it's just, and you're absolutely right. So, and listen, sometimes we can't blame our parents or aunties or uncles or grandparents because things were different then too. Sure. Sure. You know what I mean? Like my grandparents actually had a garden. Mm-hmm. They actually slaughtered a pig, right? They actually, so it was just, it was just different. 
It's just hard. They had because chickens in the back. People are just so judgmental, though, babe. You right. know, when 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 you do stuff, some people may say, "Oh, y'all are doing too much. You, you don't need to do all that." But it's just your choice, right? And you don't have to judge people what they don't do that you don't want to do, right? 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 So I don't know. It's just know. A, it's so touchy. It's I know. So touchy. It, no, it really is. It's almost like if I had all of that, I would give this amount away, or I would do this, or I would have that. Well, that's you, right? That's not our exactly. choice. I'm like, well, go make that amount and give it away. Oh, no, you don't want to give up what I had to give up to make that kind of money to give oh, it away. Oh, I'm yeah. just saying. Okay. No, so, you're, like, you're people right. like, man, if I had that, I would give away, you know, 10% <laughs> of my, well, I actually give away more than that, which is 100% of yours. So, I'm just saying, it's just, it's mm-hmm. hard for people to, because I, you know, I'm like, I'm doing my best with my own self talk, sure. not to judge anybody for what they do, but it's easy for people to do that. When people have done something they're not willing to do and say what they would do if they were in their situation. Right. And you can't really say that because you haven't done what is necessary to get in that situation. That's with everything. I know. <laughs> so that's that's why that's why this is so touchy. We're just attempting to help out the self-talk experience audience. Yes. To be careful with your self-talk. Because if you say you want more, even if it's to give more, to contribute more, mm-hmm. um, to, to impact more. You take care of your family. Right. And that's going to take some funding to impact more lives, to, to do the things that we've been able to do in certain communities and mm-hmm. in, in certain groups of people, whether it be feeding the homeless with our kids, you know, warm meals. That took money. Unless you're going to find someone else to do it for you. Right. If you want to personally make the impact, it's going to take some funding and you don't want to look back on it and say things like, I mean, I can't believe if you have to complain about what you did. Then it's not been done with a joyful heart. You probably shouldn't have given it. Right. Right. That's the way I feel. So if we're giving away a certain amount of money, I'm not going to complain like, man, I would be to do this, but I gave this. I gave this to my kids and I'm paying for this for my kids or, you know, I gave this to help out the homeless. Right. It's. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's why money matters to us because we want to get to a place where we could do all of that and not complain about what's left. Right, so right? it matters. It definitely matters. It matters, right? So I'm just saying if you want to make a big difference, <laughs> you're going to have to have big money to make a bigger difference or be able to get um, enough people around in some type of funding, whether it be a nonprofit, mm-hmm. so that you can still make that big difference. But guess what that still took? It took money. So we know. There's a lot of us out there, and I I needed to hear this when I was in my 20s, which I'm blessed to have heard it, and that is, if you want to make an impact, and if you want to cause more of an influence, then be an example of that influence. Be an example of what it's like to be able to give back, which will encourage others to say, man, how'd you get to that place? Well, I got to a place where I had my time flexibility and income flexibility, where I can make a bigger difference because I had the time and I had the money to do it. We wish that upon all of you who who, who are making the decision that, you know what, I'm tired of suffering financially. I'm tired of having to say no when I want to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm tired of being able to to have to say I can't go when I want to go. Right. I'm tired of saying we can't afford that to the loved ones that you want to be able to say, sure, you can have that. And that's going to take some money, my friends. That's good, babe. All right, so let's shift our self-talk when it comes to money. Yes. Because in our experience, it's mattered. Absolutely. All right, guys. <laughs> remember, there's the things that we say to ourselves that will eventually determine what we have and what we attract for ourselves. That's self-talk. Yeah. And if you don't know what to do with your money, give it to me. <laughs> take it, guys. Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk good to yourself. Talk good to yourself.